everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm creating this fun and colourful shaker card using some products from Heffy Doodle today. I thought that I would enter the current Heffy Doodle challenge, which is all about sizzling summer. So I decided to go bright and colourful. So I'm using the Unbelievable Stencil Die. Sorry, Stencil. The Heffy Doodle Stitch Slimline Trio Dies and the Heffy Doodle Wingman stamp set. Now to save some time, I have gone ahead and colored and cut out my images. I have left the Copic colors in the description box below if you're interested in the colors that I used, um, but I really enjoyed coloring these. They're lots of fun. So I'm starting out with some Sour Apple MFT cardstock, which I've just kind of trimmed down to a kind of slim line size. And I'm using the Unbelievable stencil on that. Now the stencil isn't long enough to go all the way to the bottom. It's a six by six stencil. So I've just masked off the bottom with some scrap cardstock. And I'm going in with some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink. And I'm just gonna work my way around the stencil. And then I'm going to try and line it up. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it off and try and line it up um, as best I can so that my, my um, pattern continues. It doesn't work perfectly, but it's fine because part of this card is gonna be cut off so you can't see it anyway. So I think it will be absolutely fine when it's finished. So this is me trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that. I'm twisting it around all sorts of ways. Eventually, I think I just ended up moving it down. Um, so I was twisting around, <laughs> um, trying to find where it was going to work best. Um, and I struggled a little bit, but in the end, I just kind of um, worked out that this was the best way. So I'm going to put my magnets on that again and then use that scrap piece of cardstock again just to kind of cover up the top part so that I don't get any kind of smears of ink on the top. So I'm creating this card for the Team Tiny YouTube Hop today. Um, Team Tiny is a group of people who are together on Facebook who have crafting paper crafting YouTube channels with less than a thousand subscribers. So I wanted, this is my very first time joining along and I wanted to have a go because um, I thought it would be a good way to try and grow my channel and also to try and meet some other people who have similar interests. And I've really enjoyed being a part of this today. It is a hashtag driven YouTube hop. So check out the hashtag. You can either um, click on the link that I've put in the description box below or you can just type it into your search engine. It's hashtag Team Tiny August 2022. So um, you can use that to hop around to the different channels and I urge you to go and check them out. You might find some new content creators that you really enjoy. And if you do, please do remember to give them a thumbs up and subscribe to their channels because it all helps. So I've taken some Rainforest cardstock from Lawn Fawn and just cut it down to the same size. And I'm using the stencil again here with some um, Mode Lawn Distress Oxide ink. I love the Distress Oxide ink because it kind of sits on top of the paper. It doesn't sink in. So you can use it as, um, as a stencil like this, which works perfectly. Now I've just got some watercolor paint. This is just a cheap set that I bought on Amazon. It's called Mozart. Um, but a really nice kind of pigments in it. And I've just chosen this green, tapping that over both panels. Then I've got um, a darker green that I'm gonna use and also some white. And I like doing this, it's a bit messy, <laughs> but it's lots of fun. So here's that darker green. It's a turquoisey kind of colored green, but it shows up really nicely on both these cardstocks and I really liked it. And then finally in with the white, just to add some kind of contrasting detail as well. And as I say, it's very messy. Definitely use a splatter box because um, it goes everywhere, but it's lots of fun to create this. So once I finish all my splattering, I'm going to leave my panels to dry. I did get a bit impatient, so I took my heat tool to it. And now I'm using these Heffy Doodle dies. I've used the kind of middle one um, to cut both of the panels with, and then the kind of um, more intricate um, three paneled one to cut the outside of the, or sorry, the inside of the rainforest cardstock piece out so that I can kind of get my shaker window and it's gonna layer on top like that. So I've added some acetate to the back of that darker green cardstock and now I'm adding some of these Heffy Doodle foam strips all the way around. 
I love these because they're a nice height. You don't need to lay it, double layer them. They're just the perfect height for creating shakers. And I'm going in with my powder tool all around the edges of that so that my little shakers will move nicely. So I have these things for these little shaker pieces from Lucy's Little Things. I have one called Cardinal and one called Phoenix Fire. So they're kind of nice um, red and yellow colors, red and golden colors. And I'm just adding those in. As usual, I don't like to overfill my shakers. I like to keep them um, a little bit scarce, I suppose, just because I find that they move better and you get a better sound when there's less in them uh, and it creates a better effect. So I did remove, there were some larger pieces that I removed. I didn't want those in there. So I just took them out and um, just kind of figured out where I wanted everything. And now I am removing the release paper from the foam tape and then lining up my other panel so that it lies on the back. Uh, this is always a little bit tricky <laughs> because you don't want your shaker pieces to fall out everywhere, but you want to line up your cardstock nicely, but it worked out fine. And there we go. That's my shaker part done. So now it's just a case of figuring out where all my little images are going. So I colored in three of these birds from the Wingman stamp set and I wanted to make them look different each one. So I kind of colored them all differently um, and I had a lot of fun coloring them today. That was really, really good. And now I'm just figuring out my sentiments. And what I did was just stamp those out onto some white cardstock with some black ink. In hindsight, I wish that I had used yellow cardstock, which is what I'm using for the base of my card, but I think this is fine. It, they, it stands out really nicely, which is important, um, but it would have been nice to tie in that yellow a little bit more as well. But never mind, you live and learn. <laughs> so there we go. I've just laid those down with some liquid glue, and now I'll go ahead and attach my images as well into the spaces where I want them. And I um, was really happy with how it was looking, but I found it was kind of missing something. Um, so I did go back again and look at the stamp set and there were some little feather images, just some single little feathers, um, which I then colored and cut out just um, to match the birds, the colors of the feathers on the birds, just to bring some of those colors into the kind of rest of the card. Um, I felt like it was looking a little bit too dark without that. So that's what I went ahead and did. So you can see here that I have all these little feathers and I'm just gonna glue them down as well. And I just thought it added a little bit of extra interest. And it was a lot of fun to play along with this hop today. Um, and please, as I say, do go and check out all the other um, points on the hop. There's loads of fantastic creators on here. And it's always nice to support the smaller channels who maybe don't get as much traffic, which is what this hop is all about. Uh, so just finishing up with my gluing. And once that's done, it's really just a case of getting a card base and popping everything together. So I did, as I say, take some yellow cardstock. This is not a color that I use very often. It's very, very bright. I've taken this Wild For You sentiment stamp set from Heffy Doodle and stamped out the one that says Party Animal and then that little guy that's kind of shaking his tail feathers because I thought he looked kind of cute. And um, I made my card base eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. So it just leaves a nice eighth inch border, or sorry, 16th inch border all the way around. And I'm just lining that up and adding it on with some liquid glue. And that's it, my card is complete. I really hope you enjoyed this one today. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And please do subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you come back again. Enjoy the rest of the hop and I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.